Hello everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome to my new island! Yay! This is my new island. Uh, I called it Soro just because I was just discussing how I like this herb uh, to and to edit into my borscht when I cook borscht. I'm Ukrainian, okay? So in summer we cook uh, green borscht instead of uh, um, a red one and we add sorrel to it and I was just telling to my boyfriend who is Canadian and <laughs> it was just in my mind so that's how I called the silent. I just started it a few days ago. I did time travel just a little bit uh, when the museum was closed or when uh, resident services was closed. So I just wanted to show you around a little bit. So this is my airport. It is blue. I really like it. I like when the airport is blue, although I would accept any color. So for this island, um, I don't really have a theme as for my previous island, but because my previous island had such a, a strict color scheme, I did everything as white and blue. Um, I wanted this one to be more colorful. Hi, Queen. So I wanted this one to be more colorful and um, I don't think it's going to be like kit core but maybe just colorful, uh, rustic type of vibe, I don't even know. Okay, let's see our map. There's not much here, of course. Um, I just put up one bridge that uh, Tom Nog gives you like as a recipe. Um, I just put up my campsite and today I actually have a campsite villager so we will see who I'm going to invite next. These are my villagers. I have Drake, I have Bertha, I have Sprinkle, Teddy and Quinn. So Teddy and Quinn were my starters and these guys I found villager hunting. So let's just see what's up here. So. You saw a uh, sprinkle uh, lives here. Uh, Quinn, that's Quinn's house. I just put some stuff around, you know, to get my rating up. Teddy, let's talk to Teddy. Hey, Yules, how you been, Rolf? What's the latest? I know that. Look, you want to do patrol jogs with me, don't you? Yes, Teddy, that is the look that I'm giving, I guess. <laughs> this is where Bertha lives. Um, so far I just have the same ones. You know how you set up the plots and you give them the furniture. Oh, okay, so my island's um, fruit is an apple and my flower is hyacinth. But they're only on the cliff so far and I haven't really transferred them to this level. And here I'm only growing um, cosmos and pansies because I really like them. I think they are the vibes of this island. A lot of, like. Uh, I guess because of the apples it just and because it's fall I think they fit so well so I just created a few areas where I'm gonna be doing my flower breeding I have like to fence them up and do something like that I don't know I'll see how it will work I'll change that if it doesn't work let's go see who is going to be our next villager who is in the, the campsite oh my god I'm so excited let's go This is where I put my campsite for now. Oh my god, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Another hippo? Oh, literally hippo. That's the name. Buongiorno. Oh, I have to take him, don't I? Or her, is it? I don't know. I'm glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite and you live on this island, don't you? Yes, I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. Oh my god, he's so obnoxious. I can't even tell that you're really gonna enjoy having me here. Oh my god, wh what is his personality? <sighs> I have to take him, don't I? Okay. And I have 940 thread count sheet on my bed there. Oh my god. Fine, you should leave here. Is he... Leave here, yeah, literally. Uh, is he snooty? 
or there's just one little thing. I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with like the VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know this is legit. Okay, is he like from, he looks like a schoolboy from those private British schools and stuff like, is that who he is? Oh my god, leave it to me, of course. Guten Tag, maybe it's a private German school, I don't know. My fate is in your hands, haha, <laughs> oh my god. What, it's also like the color, it's very suspicious, oh my, look at the hair. I'm sorry for anybody who loves Hippo and is their favorite villager. Like, I really like how his eyes are in the design, but everything else, like, oh my god. Okay, let's stop judging people for how they look, let's go. Also, my goal is to finally finish a museum, because I've never done that before. So on this island, I'm really going to try. Tom, come here. Didn't you see me enter like you just... I mean, granted, I also just use ATM there. Yes, yes. I have already seen this douchebag. Yeah, I, I did it. Okay, you know what? I have a housing kit. Let's go. I don't even know where I want him to live. I just want him to live as far away from me as possible. Not this elitist private school boy. Ugh. There is not even a bridge to this part of the island, so I'm gonna put him here. Somewhere away from the campsite. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so we placed Hippo there. I hope he's not gonna harass my villagers with his snootiness from all the way back there. Hello, this is the next day in real life, but a few days past in Animal Crossing time because I did time travel a little bit after the fiasco with Hippo that you saw. So, update right now, what's going on? Uh, I did plop all the other plots that I need and I did go villager hunting and I got Mael, I hope that's how you pronounce her name, and I got Avery. Now. The villager selection I have is pretty unique, I would say. I'd say so far my favorites are definitely Avery because I do really like his design and he's a cranky, which I love cranky villagers. Um, I love Teddy, he's growing on me and he's a very sweet villager and I really don't hate jock villagers, so sorry, my dog is growling at my cat currently. I apologize for the background noise. So yeah, Teddy is very sweet, he also, sorry about that, uh, he also just came to visit my house today and then invited me to his house, so that's great, that's perfect. Um, I do like Sprinkle as well, she's very sweet and cute. All the other guys, I was thinking I would be in love with Quinn as well. I like her, but I can't say that I love her, like, you know. And so, Bertha is very sweet too, but it's kind of like, eh, whatever. This guy, good thing he lives where there's no bridge yet, because I don't want to see his ass anywhere around me. But anyway, I still have two empty plots that are not out of field. I was thinking I'm going to skip to this day today, to a new day in the game, and they will be out of field, because I did not want to spend my miles on uh, Nook Mile tickets. But they're still not out of field, and when I went to Isabel today to check my island evals, because yesterday they were one star, and it's just my island is just chaos of items and stuff, today it's three stars, and she just told me that KK Slider is coming to the island. So, it's, so he's coming tomorrow, and I don't even have the last two villagers. I don't even know, I, this never happened to me before. I heard that it might happen, but I've, it never happened to me before. So I don't even know what to do. I'm so excited. Um, let me just show you where um, I put the houses for the new villagers. Look at this girly. She, she gives me such French vibes and her house is literally like a cafe and a street, street cafe. 
Uh, I put my Able Sisters here for now. Um, obviously, I'm going to move all of it when I actually decorate, but so far, uh, Avery lives here. I really like his house. I think it's beautiful. But see, there are two plots that are completely empty still. Not sold, not anything. So I'm just so confused. How is KK Sliders gonna come? Even if I time travel right now to tomorrow, which is what I want to do to finally get KK Slider here so I can unlock terraforming and more importantly, paths, because Island without paths is just, it doesn't fit in my head. Like I can't, everything just seems like it's sprinkled around the island and it's chaotic to me. And I wonder if the closing sequence with the titles, like when you get you know, unlock the terraforming and complete the intro. We're just going to be two villagers short. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to save now and go the next day. Did I time travel? Did I? Okay, you will see it on the recording if I'm a dumbass and time travel two days in a row. I don't know. I, I am <laughs> getting a cold, I think, so I'm not thinking straight. Let's see what's happening. Avery is out. His design is so cute. I feel like he's a very, very pretty character. Hey, KK Slider is here visiting Sorrel. Not only is that bad, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on this island. Stand by for direct feed from the concert venue. I hope you'll enjoy the show. <gasps> oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Um, so we're just two villagers short. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, the hippo is here. Oh. Look at his hair. Like, it's so weird. I don't know. I tried to show to my boyfriend. I'm like, look at this villager. Like, I can't believe he's here. And he's like, what are you talking about? He looks fine. So I'm questioning his sanity now. Okay, yeah, so we are just two villagers short. I've That never happened to me. This is the fifth island that I am playing on and I have never gotten this. And this island I feel like was such a mess. I didn't even try to clean up the weeds. I have very few flowers around the island. I just have like a mixer standing next to a museum. Well, I guess it doesn't matter as long as there are items out. But I didn't even put that many items out as I usually do. Like my storage in, in my house is currently full. So it's just really unusual that I that it did that. Okay. Yes, of course I enjoyed KK's concert. It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As commemorative gift. Uh, I have this song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Thank you. I do like this song. Sold. Not sold. Okay, interesting. Who is this? Who is this? Dizzy? I think I know who that is. Let me just Google it real quick. Oh yeah, it's a really cute elephant. I saw him before. He is really nice and I think he will fit on the island so well. What is his personality? Is a lazy. Okay, so he's another lazy. That's cool. I love lazy characters. I don't actually like I know people want like different personalities to be there, like not too many repeats or something. But I really don't mind. And also because I plan villagers to just move out and come in. I don't want to keep like a set of villagers unless it is a dreamy. If I meet Genji or Shab, they are staying. But other than that, so I feel like we can cycle through different personalities and it will be fine. Now for the end of the video, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a sample that I did here to just kind of see how will the custom designs that I got um, will fit on my island. Um, just doing this kind of test row with the round to playing around with custom designs. I will link all of them uh, below. But I think I'm very satisfied with what's happening here. I think that is what I'm going to be going for. Um, on another news on the island, Bertha asked me to move out. And I said yes. It's, it's her life. She can do whatever she wants. 
So now we have a very ridiculous situation where we didn't even get our last villager, our 10th villager on the island, and uh, one of them already is leaving. I guess uh, my island is, I mean, I understand her. After Hippo moved in, I would have moved out myself. So she's leaving and uh, I will update you <laughs> on what is going to happen. Maybe I will film a villager hunt finally if I get some Nook Miles tickets. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel because I have very few subscribers and um, I would love to have you here if you're enjoying it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'll enjoy the clip of my clownery uh, on the island as well after this.